you recovered in Zambia was well-traveled. DIA managed to pull the nav data from it and came back with hits in Nigeria. There's been a lot of activity in the Niger Delta recently. Turns out CIA already had an asset in-country to monitor a PMC operating in the region. Watchgate says they're providing security for oil companies, but it looks like that's not all they're up to. These guys are muscling in on refineries, running offs into local villages. They're destabilizing an already shaky area. We want to know why. CIA's agent, Officer Dan Sykes, delivered an intel package on the situation, and then went dark. Langley's tried to re-establish contact. So far, no luck. They're assuming the worst. We're going in to locate, secure, and extract Officer Sykes. Whatever his condition. Alright guys, Sinistrian Zero One back at you with more Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier, and we are on our third mission, I believe. Which is, well, if you don't count the uh, prologue. Noble Tempest. Alright, so our objectives are to locate, secure, and extract CIA officer Daniel Sykes. Let's check out our challenges real quick. Let's see, we've got make five consecutive kills on unalerted enemies using a PDR. Okay. So, just any type of PDR, I guess. Okay, it's a weapon challenge. And the tactical ones, we've got fast mover. Go through the village in under 60 seconds without any civilians dying. Clear the pitch. Eliminate all the mercs playing soccer without raising the alarm. No blood, no foul. Infiltrate the outpost, retrieve the data, and extract without raising the alarm. Seem like they're all pretty difficult as well. The only thing that goes kind of against the kind of walkthrough that I'm doing, which is the fast mover, go through the village in under 60 seconds without civilians dying. So I'm not sure if uh, maybe I'll just put that like extra, like I'll just record a little bit extra of that part and then take it, you know, take it back and, and actually play the way that I would normally play it. So we definitely want to complete the challenges. I, I want to try to get all the tactical challenges that I can. But considering that we already missed that one tactical challenge on the first real mission, which was the uh, shoot, get 10 headshots or whatever, really doesn't matter. So, you know, maybe at the end of the playthrough, I'll go back and complete the, uh, the tactical challenges that I can't do doing it the way that I would normally want to do it. Since this is my walkthrough, I kind of want to do it my way. But uh, we'll just see and kind of uh, see how it goes. All right, so obviously we're still doing this on Elite. So we'll go ahead and keep going here. The oil companies in the region have hired Watchgate to keep the locals out of the way of their operations. It looks like they took that as a blank check to treat the region as their playground, to start funneling guns to people like Dede Makaba. All right, so let's check out next. In base mode, this is a low IR signature UAV. Use it to identify enemy positions from on high, or to pinpoint and lock in targets. It's your eyes in the sky. All right, so now we finally get a chance to use our UAV. So that's gonna be sweet. You want to improve your aim? This will give you a stable firing platform. You're giving up mobility, but you're trading it for accuracy. All right, so we got a new bipod. You're going up against pros. But the PMC boys have gotten sloppy pushing civilians around. It might get pretty heavy because that refinery is easy to defend. I'd go with an LMG with a scope and back it up with a silenced car. I'm gonna not go with that. I think we're gonna go with, uh, let's see. We'll go with assault and then PDR. But let's check out our assault rifle, see if we've 
gained any extra weapons. We still got the 417. That's pretty much what we used before. I don't know if we've unlocked any more weapons. I wonder where these missions are. The, the Gallant Thief mission. Rifle Master Challenge, Body Count Challenge. It's all about those uh, challenges mostly. So we're going to go ahead and go with our 417 again. we got a nice suppressor on it. And uh, should be good to go. But we definitely want to take along our uh, PDR since that's one of the weapons challenges. But let's go ahead and check it out and make sure we've got it equipped to what we want. It's good maneuverability. I like that. That's what we used before, the goblin. This must be the five shot challenge. Wasn't that what the, the one in this was? So I think we might get this weapon by doing that. So, let's see. We gain range on this weapon, but we lose control. Lots of control. And this is our kind of secondary weapon, so we don't really need to go for range. So we're going to stick with the Goblin. It's still a PDR, so we should be able to get that uh, weapons feel, the weapon challenge or whatever. Sensors and frag grenades. So, well, here we go. Let's do it. Alright, so we got drones here. Let's use them. I actually think that enemy that shot the last guy actually said no scope. Which would be <laughs> really funny. But uh, it sounded like, go back, rewind that, and see if you guys think the same thing. They said no scope. That have been really weird. Alright, so we got four enemies to take care of. And a couple of uh, tactical challenges. We're going to have to ask the new residents some questions. So we're going to try to complete those as well. First challenge will be as soon as we finish this interrogate hostile, we need to run through the city without killing any civilians in 60 seconds or under. So we'll see if we can do it after this here. So let's, uh, I'm going to take this guy out. Looks like, uh, the other ghost got the other three. So here we go. Oh no! Where's the American? The refinery, the inner shipping container. They've got him locked up in the camp. Overlord, this is Hunter. They've got the package in the refinery. We're in route. It's not safe. Go. Go, it's not safe. Understood, Hunter. We'll scramble support. Be advised, you've got large numbers of civilians in your area. Watch your targets. Run. One. All right, so we gotta do this under 60 seconds. Hopefully, Let's we can go, do it. Go. They're moving to cover. Ah. Out of the way. Move. I'm moving. We gotta keep pushing through. Target down. Watch your back. We're in control. Let's finish it. Move, 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 move. Out of the way. All right. Let's see if we got it. Yeah, go through the village in under 60 seconds without any civilians dying. Sweet. 
All right, so one thing about that is uh, we might as well go ahead and get that challenge, considering that they're automatically going to detect us no matter, even if you go through that part stealthy. So you might as well go ahead and complete the challenge and add a little bit of action and spice to your life. Let's keep going. Overlord, this is Hunter. We're closing on the camp. You got an update? Roger that, Hunter. Pushing the satellite scan to you now. We're stealing time from an NSA satellite. They're gonna reposition for us. Stand by. Here we go. I'll run you through it. It'll take a minute to get full granularity from the feed, but we're picking up some activity you should know about. We know Watchgate runs the bulk of their ops out of the facility here. It's a sprawling complex with multiple structures. Our boys have been analyzing patterns of movement and cell phone traffic. All the data suggests Officer Sykes is being held somewhere in this area. Sykes has been with special activities for a while. If anyone could handle capture and interrogation, it's him. Still, we don't know his condition, so be prepared to carry him out if you have to. Part of the camp is covered. Looks like some sort of hangar. We can't get an exact fix on the container. We should be able to use a drone or magnetics to track him down from our side. We'll find him. Copy that. It looks like the mercs aren't expecting any trouble. Tell you what, man. Some cold-hearted bastards just be playing around while their friends are out there butchering civilians. They'll get there soon enough. Don't take them too lightly. They might look sloppy, but they're well-equipped and quick on the trigger. Be advised, we did pick up a pair of radar contacts several clicks out from your location. Looks like a couple of gunships. Those choppers tell you everything you need to know about Watchgate's connections. These guys are serious business. Choppers aren't moving fast, but they are pointed your direction. Keep your eyes up just in case. What do we have for air assets? Nothing for close support, but our carrier group's sitting off the coast, and they've agreed to loan us a couple of aircraft. We've scrambled two fast movers. They'll hold south for you at Angels 2-2 and wait for your call. They're your panic button if more mercs show, but we don't want to use them if we don't have to. Understood. That's what we've got for now. Good luck in there. Copy that. Hunter out. Use the drone. Mark those targets. Straight ahead. All right. That's two targets. And he's not set up his shots. On your go. Wait for the third one to line up, and we should be good to go. Come on, 30k. On you. All right, we're ready. Ready. He's down. All right, so let's see what else we got to do. Clear the pitch. Eliminate all the mercs playing soccer. Infiltrate the outpost. Data extract without raising the alarm. And make five consecutive kills unalerted with the PDR. So let's get out our PDR. Okay. So this is our goblin. And we're going to see if we can get five consecutive kills with this guy. Looks like there's the mercs that are playing soccer. We're gonna go ahead and get up here in the cover and use our drone and figure out how many enemies are up ahead. Contact is light. I'm gonna definitely say contact is not light. <laughs> That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like a skeleton crew. Skeleton crew. This should be quick. Make sure there's no one else around here. Oh, there's another one. All right, so we'll keep this nice and high just in case. Okay, so since we're pretty much invisible right now, I think we should be able to move around to the side here. We got our PDR, so as long as we take them out without alerting anyone else, it will count as our kills. Over on the balcony. So we got a guy on the balcony, two over there, and we got the one lonely guy that's stranded over here <laughs> oh he's just out of the way out I would I didn't feel comfortable aiming that far away so I didn't take the shot that's all right we'll get up close to him as long as we actually use the weapon it should count as far as a kill So you should be around the corner here. We can use our magnetic view to find him.
There he is. Alright, he's out of the way of anybody else right now. Alright, we'll get out of the way, make sure no one sees us. And as you can see, we've got one of five shots now. So we will keep going. I would take out that guy, but as you can see, there's too many people that are just around. And we can't use our quick shots or our mark and executes because of that fact. And we definitely don't want to get caught. So we should be able to take this guy out without anybody seeing. Alright, so that should be two now. Alright, so we just need three more. Let's see, we got the one guy here, and there's also another guy that is patrolling. So if we've got two, right? Let's say one of our guys takes out him. Okay, he's just walking out in the middle of... <laughs> Don't get me caught, bro! So that could be a possible three or four. Okay. So, probably want to wait just a little bit. There is another guy all the way over there. So I think the perfect time would be... Spotted. Camo activated. Definitely not there. <laughs> okay, wait till he comes back around, then I'm going to try to take these guys out really quick with uh, sniper shots here. There you go. Two for the price of one. So we've got four. All we need is one more. And we should be able to take that out with this guy over here. As long as he is away from his buddies. And he can't see us. Or they can't see us, should I say. Moving. Which I'm going to wait just... I'd say about right there. Back one. There we go. He's behind the crate, so he should be good to go. Alright, so now what we got is those four there. Mr. Five over there. And these two lovebirds right here. So since we're on a roll taking out everybody ourselves, let's see if we can get another double headshot here. Just gotta angle it up right. Let's see, right about there. <laughs> 